Thanks for indulging all these questions. Just a couple of quick ones. <laughs> uh, when will the first teacher evaluations, when are they scheduled to be completed? In other words, when could we expect the first evaluations to be done? August, the, on August 15th, legally, they can be, they can be foiled. This year? Yes. Okay. All right. And um, thank you. The, uh, so as we've seen, the public at large gets no identifying personal information, but the parents and legal guardians do get the identifying personal information, correct? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't no, hear you. I was just saying that the public at large, as we know, does not get the release of the personal information, but the parents do, correct? In the context of this legislation? Yes. This legislation? Right. Yes. Okay. The public will be provided information regarding overall evaluation scores and composite scores and uh, information about the district, poverty level, such as that. Um, but th none of that information will include any, any information uh, regarding any of the privacy, uh, private information regarding teachers. Or, or connect teachers to any of that information. But that would and, be... And it cannot be foiled. I, I, I missed the last sentence. And it cannot be foiled. On the public side. But with the parents, they get all of that. Uh, well, they get the, the personal information, they if get, you will. They get the quality rating, and they get the composite score, and they get information regarding what that means. What does quality, you know, the explanation right. of quality rating and the composite scores. And they get the teacher's name. That, well, right. they're asking for the. They're asking for information regarding a specific right. teacher that their that their child actually has. Right. So, uh, coming up now, the kids are all getting out of school, and now they know uh, who their teachers are going to be next year. Right. If they're out of school today, a lot of them are getting out. They already know going. I'm going into second grade next year. I know who my teacher is. Can they foil that right? Well, this year it would have to be August 15th at the earliest. But in years going forward, could they foil it on the day school ends and say, I want to know no. who my, they have to actually be physically in the class already? In this legislation, yes. So, okay. All right. Thank you, Ellen. I appreciate it. Mr. Speaker, on the bill? On the bill. This is a troubling bill. And uh, I'm married to a teacher, and I voted against the teacher evaluation bill. I thought that was a lousy bill. I think in hindsight, we probably should have told the feds to take the $700 million and keep it because that's what I'm getting from my school districts throughout the area is that it costs us more to chase this money than we're getting in this money. So I think it was a complete farce, and I think we've created yet another bureaucracy. It's troubling. I don't think this bill, even though I get where we're trying to go, we're trying to, trying to strike a balance, but in the end, we're one step removed from parents, which we already have said, and, and I agree with this, they're going to they're gonna seek those evaluations. They're going to create a website, and I already went to GoDaddy.com. You can get teacherscores.org or .net. That's available. You can grab that. Create a website. Andy Ray just bought it. You can, you can grab that website, and they're going to load up these teacher evaluations. So we're branding these teachers. And don't anybody kid yourself to think people are going to be running around saying, my teacher's developing. My teacher's highly effective. It's either excellent, good, or bad. That's what this is going to become. We saw, as, as our, our colleague just talked about just the other day, where these kids were just badgering this poor woman on the bus. Uh, it was insane what was going on there, and I hope there's retribution for that. But uh, I don't think this bill achieves really anything. Even though it's well-intentioned, we're trying to strike a balance, it's just simply going to create a, uh, a black mark on these teachers, and I don't think it protects the privacy to which they're entitled. Uh, I also believe that... Um, well, that's, that's truthfully most of it. I mean, it's a troubling bill. I honestly still don't know which way to go on this. I don't think it protects teachers. I do think parents have some right to know what's going on there in the classroom. They're paying the bill after all. I get that. But to just, uh, it seems like we've got the, the, the torches and the pitchforks and we're coming after the teaching profession and most all of them do an outstanding job. They care about their kids. They're passionate about what they do. And to brand them as ineffective for Areas that may not even be their fault. We've got major problems with our, with our uh, school testing out there right now. We re we're relying on a British company. I don't know why we can't get an American company to produce our test, but we've got a British company coming up with questions such that involve talking pineapples. Bill, uh, questions that you can't even foil. Did anybody know that? I've been told by a superintendent, you can't foil these new tests. 
that's a new one on me because you could always foil the regents exams and check the rubric and check what was going on you can't do that anymore and I'd like to find out why we can't foil these tests and see what's going on because there are major problems with these tests we've got kids one of my school districts just, just magically keeps getting selected for random testing over and over again. And they're throwing questions in there that the kids are not supposed to know. So what happens is the high achieving kids are breaking down in tears because they're used to knowing all the questions. How could they not know the questions? How could they not know what's going on? They're being set up for failure. And you're, you've got kids that are breaking down taking these tests. You're going to rely on that to evaluate teachers when we can't even, we can't even get good testing out there? We rely far too much on standardized testing. That's not learning, that's regurgitation. Truth is, I don't know what I'm gonna do on this bill. It's major problems with this bill, and I don't think it achieves anything.